Okay, so I am reading Becoming by Michelle Obama, and today was pretty productive thus far. This should be a, a fun reading vlog. I don't know if I'll get through the entire thing um, this weekend, but I am enjoying it thus far. I finally finished the first part of the book, and I've started part two. So if you don't know, the book's broken into three parts. It's Becoming Me, Becoming Us, and then Becoming More. So I finished Becoming Me, which is pretty much, well, let me actually rate it. So if I was to rate the first part, Becoming Me, I would give that four stars. Um, it's beautifully written. Michelle Obama does a good job of storytelling and tying in like monumental or meaningful moments as well as meaningful um, relationships. And it kind of gives you a better sense of like her foundation and basically becoming me, how she became who she is um, today and kind of what laid those foundations. It gives a good idea of her family life. I feel like I understand a little bit more um, where some of her maybe beliefs and viewpoints come from. And yeah, um, I would say some of the, the highlights for me was definitely like, um, her relationship with her aunt um, and kind of like how she ties that into even throughout college like you can see um, how that relationship or how that structure kind of influenced throughout her life um, a lot of her upbringing in certain ways were similar to mine um, as far as her you know, growing up in a two-parent household, what that looks like and how that becomes your norm. And sometimes you take that for granted. Like, you know, you grew up in a household where your parents are married, you're in a family, and you don't really think about it. It just seems normal to you. Um, and also, like, just with school and her viewpoints on schooling and how she was bussed out and was in a magnet program and how that broadened her scope and just... It, it, there was just a lot of similarities. Um, one of the interesting parts also was, what I thought was interesting, she talks about the um, first time, she remembers apparently the first time someone told her she talked white. And I don't know, I guess I was just like, I don't remember the first time someone ever told me that. Um, but um, I just, I thought it was interesting how she said she was trying to search for the answer for it. And she kind of comes up with an answer, but it's something that I felt like, throughout I just never had an answer for so I don't know I felt like that was a very authentic and genuine moment I feel like she really let us in on a lot of things that shaped her thus far certain things it's interesting how she talks about race though it's like she mentions it but you can still tell that she has this guard up of how she's going to be perceived what she talks about in the book as to how she cares a lot about like basically what people think and how that has shaped a lot of her decisions and she kind of is always trying to check off all the boxes to make sure she is on the path to success and stuff um but one thing that's just interesting is it's interesting because she could be critical on certain issues but when it comes to race as far as like she had a scenario where basically like she was oblivious she just seems seems oblivious to certain things like she'll acknowledge it in the sense of oh yeah so um years later you know my roommate said that you know the reason why she was moved was because i was black like her parents moved her um her mother moved her because she didn't want her living with a black person but you know I was completely oblivious to it and it's kind of like brushed over or highlighted and there are scenarios like with her father's car when it was vandalized and we know it's because he was black but the way it's said it's almost like a you know I don't know like kind of in passing and she'll even say like you know how segregated uh, Princeton was and how you know basically like the minorities they like kind of clock together and stuff and how she the way she brushes past it is almost like you know well I, I was equally at fault for that but she also kind of acknowledges that a lot of times in those scenarios you know the burden is put on the minority to assimilate 
um, but it's never really a strong enough point. I don't know. But she talks about her upbringing and she talks about like with her father and how her father was just always one to not harp on necessarily negative, which I don't harp on negative things either. Like I just don't. I acknowledge them. I know that they exist, but I'm not going to let that um, consume me essentially. Um, but I can't be oblivious to it either. So it's just interesting on from that standpoint. Um, also, like with her uncle and you know there's so many lines like I I've been taking notes throughout and putting like stickies on different passages um but yeah but we're finally to the part where she's with Barack and she meets Barack and we've got to meet some of her previous boyfriends and I don't know it's just been a good read and I feel like I'm getting to know our former first lady a little better and it's it's it's, it's good so I would say for the first section becoming me I give it four stars I will continue reading throughout the day. I actually am going to probably start get getting ready um, and like do my makeup because I'm going out. Um, so I have this on audio as well. So multitasking, I'm going to be listening while I do my makeup, which should be fun. Explaining our system for tracking billable hours. He was quiet and deferential Summer. and went back to my desk. Later that day, I took Barack to lunch at the fancy restaurant on the first floor. Thing, I was his mentor at the firm. I'd also recently sworn off dating altogether. And I can see he knew that I lived in the same house. <laughs> <house. laughs> that my happiest well, memories of Harvard Law School stemmed from the work I'd done in the legal about, aid bureau. That <laughs> but he was a grown man. I let him rescue himself and black, African and American. He was modest and lived modestly. Ain't Yet that all black people? When you think about it, black Americans. And the world of privilege black that was and white. to him as a result. African and he American. Took it all seriously, I could tell. He could be lighthearted and jokey. I'm just but kidding. But he never strayed far from a larger sense of obligation. All right, so I finished doing my makeup and I'm going to go ahead and get ready. And that was such a good listening experience. It's interesting because going on to becoming us. I don't know if it's like the romantic in me, um, but hearing her narrate that, I think was better than reading. Even though I enjoyed reading it physically, like um, I hadn't read Becoming Us, that section um, clearly, but from reading like the Becoming Me and then going to Becoming Us and hear her tell that, it's like such a cute and like personal story and it just feels like I don't know I just enjoyed it I really I really liked it I'm not done with the becoming us it's still on that part but just checking in but yeah it's going really good listening to it um, so far so I definitely think I like the breakup of reading and listening and I even had a period where I was reading along while she read and I enjoyed that a lot um, so she's a good narrator and telling her own story, of course, um, which memoirs seem to have that feel to it where it feels even more personal. Um, but yeah, anyways, it is going good. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. So I tried the um, new Afrique palette from Juvia's Place, which if you're not familiar, this is a black owned makeup brand. And it's actually at Ulta now, which is super cool. Um, but I tried this palette, and one, the palette's like the perfect size. It's very lightweight, so I know I'm going to like this for traveling. It has a lot of fun colors in it, but the colors are, even though they're like bright, they're still on that, like, kind of like that, um, I don't want to call it neutral, but they're still, the tones seem very like fall-like, even though it is a bright palette like a colorful, I should say it's a colorful palette, not necessarily a bright palette. And I know some of you guys may not even care about makeup like that, but oh no, I just kind of messed up the blue. You can't see it, but I did by picking it up like that. So let me put this down. Um, but before I put it down, I love the little art on the inside. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I didn't get to use all the colors. Clearly I did this um, look with it, but I'm really liking it and I'm liking the um, pigmentation of the palette. So oh, it's almost midnight and we just got back from hanging out with friends um, and like a game night which was lots of fun actually but so that's why you didn't see me read anymore. Um, tomorrow I do have one event 
that I'm going to, and then the rest of the day I should be able to read. And hopefully I will have um, a vlog edited tonight. So I'm pretty much going to edit, go to sleep, church, event, and yeah, read. Sorry, I got like a notification. Oh, I just got 2,000 cal 2,500 calories for the day. That's really cool. So yeah, I feel like a good goal will be by tomorrow to finish becoming us. And then I can just have becoming more left. That would be a great goal to accomplish. We'll see if I can do it. <laughs> okay, so I am officially done with becoming us. Um, so I just have the one last section becoming more to go. And I say that like that's not a long way to go. But I am on page... 273 so oh and it feels like I, it's been more than that um it's quite a lengthy story i will say that i am definitely gonna have to do an in-depth thought out thorough review of this because yeah for this section i barely gave it a three star let me shut the door it's kind of low this section started off so strong as you saw i was so into it but the romance of this and the beautiful writing, it eventually kind of dies out and it gets into politics and it gets really just basically like kind of like all the scenarios and the timeline of what went down leading up to the first election. Um, when I say the first, the first election, Obama won presidential election. And yeah, there's just a lot like I really have to process my thoughts because it's crazy how it started off so strong and then to certain things mm, I didn't like the way they were they were phrased um but I'll do a deep dive once I complete the entire book I've been taking notes um but what I will say was the highlight for me was of course the beginning of um the section of the book and then also in the book um in the section it has parts where there are pictures so let me see if I could turn this around yeah so there are like uh, tons of pictures in this section um, that I just really like the becoming us because of the pictures I thought that was cool a lot of cute pictures and some of the pictures were I skipped a few pages but some of the pictures were mentioned like those sections were mentioned um, in the book or in the story but um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here and I will say that we'll see how this ends up finishing it out maybe becoming more will lift up my spirits and be a little bit better um, yeah yeah anyways I need to process a lot of that <laughs> um, and it's getting late so I will see you guys in the next one thanks so much for watching love and light Bye.